into this, we're going to dive into this C major scale now. And we're going to learn a lot about this C major scale today. Now, from this foundation, you can do any other scale that you want. You learn this foundation and you will learn it to do any other scale, okay? Now, the, the, the whole sequence is this. Notes make scales. Scales makes chords. Chord make progression. Progression is what makes the music. Once again, notes make scales. Scales make chords. Chords make progression. And progression is what makes your music. Okay, guys? So you have to learn the notes. Then you have to learn the scales. Then you have to learn the chords. And then you learn the progression. Once you learn all these things, it will make you, I promise you, it will make you a better player. It will make you a player that can follow the music. And you can hear music and just play it anytime and anywhere, any place. You can follow chords and you can, you can even follow it and solo with it. And because once you know where the chords go, you know how to solo. Okay, guys? Now, let's dive into learn. Let's learn how the C major scale is constructed, how we find it, and what we do with it. Okay? Now, C major scale. Now, whole notes, whole notes, half a note. What is a whole note? What is a half a note? A whole note, let's, start, let's do a half a note first. A half a note is from note to note with no notes in between. A half a note is from note to note. You see alphabet, you see your, your musical alphabet. Okay, guys? Now, listen to me. Your musical alphabet goes like this. We start from C, okay? Because C is basically the, musical, the musician's easiest place to start from, okay? C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, then back to C. Okay, again, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. That's the musical alphabet, okay? That's a chromatic, that's a chromatic scale. It's a chronological order. It's in chronological order, okay? Like this. Half note, 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 half note. Half note, half note, half note, right? Half note, 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 half note. All half notes at a chromatic scale. Now, notes make scale. Notes just make your chromatic scale there, okay? So now notes again gonna make your your major scale. Now we learn a we learn a chromatic scale. Now that's C chromatic scale. It's chromatic scale from C. Chromatic scales can go from anywhere, from D. Chromatic scale from, from B. When you play a song and in G, you can run that chromatic scale all up and down and in G and you go song like a solo with nice, okay? But listen to me. Now we go from, let's find, let's use the core, the, 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 the notes now to find our, our C major scale. Now, any major scale for, for, for that fact. Once you learn to find one C major scale, you can find any major scale. You can find all 12 major scales. Okay, guys? All 12. All 12 major scales. You can find all of them. Okay? So, let's 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 dive in tape now. Dive in tape right now. So, so listen to me. C. From C to D is a whole note. Now, you learn half notes. Okay? Now, a half a note is from note to note with no notes in between. Now, what is a whole note? What's the whole note? Uh, you only have been talking about this all the time. I give it away in my lesson before. If you're following me, you will know what's a whole note by now. A whole note is from note to note with one note in between. A whole note is from note to note. So, so C, C sharp the half note. This is the third note, okay? One, two, three. So, the, a whole note from C to D is a whole note. From C to C sharp is a half note. From C to D is a whole note. So a whole note is, uh, is note to note with one note, to, one note in between is the C sharp, okay? From D, from D to E, the one note in between is the E flat, okay? 
from E, from E flat, from E flat to F, one note in between is the E. Alright, so that's a whole note. Okay, so now, whole note for now. Let me teach you a little lesson now that you can learn so you can have this whole note, half note thing down back. Okay, guys? Now, Whole note, whole note, half a note. And the first three movements. Whole note, whole note, half a note. Then whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note. So whole note, whole note, half a note. Whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note. Okay? That's the first, that's the three movements you need. Okay, guys? And the first movement you need. Whole note, whole note, half a note. Then whole note, whole note, whole note, half a note. So, so C. So you need from C, you need a whole note. So where's the whole note from C? C to what? D. Very good. The next, you need a next whole note. So D to what is the whole note? D to E flat or, or E? E flat or E? Remember your chromatic remember, remember your chromatic scale, okay? Right, so, so D D to what? E, right, very good. So you need a half a note now from, from E. You need a half a note from E. Eta what go give you a half a note? Eta what? Eta what? That's very good. F. Right? Right? Because it, 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 it. Right? Right? So now you need, a, you need a whole note from F. From F, you need a whole note. Where, where's the whole note from F? G. Right? You need another whole note. So why? Whole note, whole note, half note. You need three whole notes now. From F. F to F, F to G is a whole note. G to A is a whole note. G to B is a whole note. Right? So that there you go, you find the same major scale. Whole notes, whole note, half note. Whole note. Take that to every major scale, every scale you want. But, but, but what I want you to do, I want you to take it in this order where I have on the board here. I want you to take C first, C major first, then go to G major, then learn D major, then learn A major, then learn E major. Write it down again. Find the circle of fifth. I want you to learn from C, then go to G, then go to D, then go to A, then learn E, then learn B. Then learn F sharp. Then learn D flat, which is C sharp. Then learn A flat, which is G sharp. And how about then learn E flat, B flat, then back to F. And you can learn, learn your scales in that way. Start from the C, then learn the G, then learn the the the, 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 the D, then learn the A, you know. Right? Then learn the E and the B. Learn it in that way. That is how music really works. So I'm going to get accustomed to that circular movement, okay? That circular movement, so like that, okay? So when we come back again, we go dive into another scale, and we go learn. We go dive in back to the C major scale and learn how to break it down, okay, guys? We go break down the C major scale into chords. Remember, notes make scales, scales make chords, chords make arpeggios, chord makes chord makes uh, progression, okay? Notes make scales. Scales make chords, chords make progression. So we find the scales, we will find the chords next time, and we go into progression. Okay, I'll be back soon. Go to the other, go to the other lesson, and we will go keep going on. God bless.